Now to that breaking news just before we came on the air tonight. U.S. authorities revealing the terror mastermind responsible for the deadly bombing outside the Kabul airport in which 13 American service members were killed is now dead. And they say the Taliban got him. Here's our chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, tonight. Tonight, the White House saying the man behind the horrific attack that killed 13 U.S. service members and more than 150 Afghans in Kabul is dead. A senior administration official telling ABC News the ISIS-K terrorist who masterminded the suicide bombing at Kabul airport in August 2021 was killed in recent weeks in a Taliban operation. You can see in this video, released by the Pentagon, the lone figure dressed in black, identified as the bomber carrying 20 pounds of explosives packed with ball bearings. And the catastrophic aftermath, 13 American service members and more than 150 Afghan civilians dead. We were on the exact same spot one day earlier, Abbey Gate, desperate Afghans trying to escape. Thousands crowding the airport, some even clinging to the side of this military jet. This is the difference potentially between the life-saving work that's been carried out by the military here and potentially death by the Taliban. Less than five yards. The Pentagon informing the families of the fallen service members of the news. At the time, President Biden warning the perpetrators would be dealt with. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. But it was the Taliban, acting alone, who took down the key terrorist. David, we believe that the terrorist was killed in an on-the-ground raid. The Taliban, of course, facing an insurgency of their own a bloody campaign against ISIS. Now, the U.S. making it clear it's not working together with the Taliban, but that they're responsible for making sure that the country doesn't become a safe haven for terrorists once again. David. Ian Panel, who did significant reporting for us from uh, Kabul, obviously, Ian, now in Ukraine, and we thank you, Ian, tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.